When talking wireless, another tool that can't be ignored is Kismet. And Kismet has been around for years. Kismet is actually another suite of tools that can function as a network detector, a sniffer, and intrusion detection system. Kismet can be extended via plugins to handle other types of network traffic as well. Now let's check out the Kismet architecture. So Kismet is made up of a server and a client, which provides a menu system to help manage it a bit easier. The server has data fed to it from wireless interfaces. The server can take data from GPS modules as well. This would be used to tag packets with additional metadata called per packet information files or PPI that includes information such as location. So then you can import it into a program like Google Earth to determine the location of the wireless signal was seen. These types of tools are used by war drivers to enumerate the location of various wireless networks. The Kismet server saves this data into five different file types. So there's the alert file, would serve as a log file for the IDS function of Kismet. If it sees interesting Metasploit type traffic over the air, it could be logged here. You can also configure Kismet to look for a flood of deauthentication packets, ARP spoofing, and other types of int inf interesting traffic. The GPS XML log is an XML format log file that captures GPS data. The net text file keeps track of networks in text format. This file just makes it easier for humans to read. The net XML file is the same except in XML format. And the PCAT dump is just a PCAT file of the observed traffic that includes the PPI GPS tags. All right, so let's launch Kismet. Before doing so, I want to create a directory for all the log files. So I'll do a mkdir for make directory space kismet logs, and then enter. Then cd for change directory kismet logs, and here hit enter. Now I'll type kismet. The first thing it does is ask you if you want to launch the server. So I'll just leave that as yes. The startup options allow you to specify things like log file name and location. I'll just leave the default options here and hit enter to start. Now, because I didn't predefine the interface to use, Kismet server wants to start without any input sources. So I'm going to manually add a source now. In the interface field, I'm going to select WLAN zero. The name will be the same. Name is just an optional field if you want to add specific name to your interface. The OPTS is the options field that you can set at the beginning of the capture. Now here's where you can set the wireless interface to listen to a specific channel or have the system hop through channels at a predefined rate. I'll put a link for all the choices for options in the description, but for now, I'm just going to leave this blank. Now I'll tab to close this window. Now I'm looking at all the wireless networks in my vicinity. As I scroll through, you'll see that Kismet has assigned different colors. Yellow are for networks that are WPA encrypted. Green are for networks that are unencrypted. Red is for WEP encrypted networks. You'll also see that Kismet groups together some things. These groupings are in blue. If you expand the auto group probe line, you'll see that there are clients out there that are probing to look for some wireless networks that they used to be a part of. You'll see here all the clients from the manufacturers and the attacker can get a good idea of what kind of hardware is out there and doing the probing. Below that, you would see GPS data if I had a GPS module installed. On the right, you'll see how long I've been monitoring, how many networks I've seen, how much data I've captured. So when you hit the tilde key, you are able to access the menu. In the Kismet menu, you can add additional sources, add plugins, and modify your preferences. You can also go into the configure channel. So if you want to focus on a specific channel or group of channels, you can set it there. You can tap through, select lock, hop, and dwell. Lock is for one channel. 
Hop is to go through a group of channels, and Dwell is to set how much time you want to spend on each channel before hopping to the next channel. So the sort menu is just like it sounds. It allows you to sort the network by each of these values. And the view menu allows you to optimize your screen however you like. See, since I'm not using a GPS module here, here's something I could turn off. Hit tilde again to go into the main menu, and you can get information about various networks, clients, and channels. Here, let's go to the client list and look for clients we could attack directly if we wanted to. To get back to the main menu, just hit tilde again and select close window. To close out of Kismet, just go into the menu and select quit. So this was just a quick rundown of a great tool to use for war driving and collecting wireless network information. Kismet isn't an attack framework in and of itself, but it's great to facilitate target attacks against wireless networks.